Postman Nicolas Damery has almost finished his rounds. He often stops for a chat. Dionche is a small, close-knit community. Families here stick together. On the other side of the river, too, there are large families who all live in the same neighborhood. Tiange is located in southern Belgium, on the river Meuse. This part of Wallonia boasts an idyllic landscape with gently rolling hills. And in the heart of it lies the Tiange nuclear reactor, surrounded by family homes. But that doesn't bother people here. Laura Dory has just bought and renovated this bar. Locals gather here at lunch or after work. Owning her own pub is Dory's dream. She moved here specially from Namur, the Wallonian capital. Most of her customers work just across the way at the power station. It's great for me. It's a huge advantage. I didn't have to try and drum up business. The customers were already here. And being right across from the reactor doesn't worry me. Bruno Petri is an electrician who's worked at the Tiange reactor for over two decades. He says they do enough to ensure people's safety. We always have to wear a protective suit, helmet, goggles and gloves. And we always work in pairs. Belgium is home to two nuclear power plants. They produce ample electricity for the relatively small country. Belgium has relied on atomic energy for decades. Its citizens trust the technology. Belgium is a country at the crossroads of three great cultures, the Germanic, Latin and Anglo-Saxon cultures. There have always been various influences and it's not a very old country. So there have always been compromises. This has made us pragmatic and rational. We have to make deals and cooperate with others. If we don't, it's over for us. The company that runs the nuclear facilities is paying the Belgian state hundreds of millions of euros to extend the lifespan of the plants. If Belgium had opted to close one down, the state would be the one shelling out millions. There's a signed document, which they first tried to keep secret, which states that the Belgian state has to pay this money within 30 days. Depending on the price of electricity, it amounts to around 200 million euros. Belgium's Agency for Nuclear Control first needs to certify the reactor safety. But the Green Party says there's a questionable entanglement between politicians and the nuclear lobby. You need to realize that the director of the agency worked for the French nuclear power company for decades. After a shutdown, millions of euros changed hands, just so Tiange could start operating again. Neighboring countries Germany and the Netherlands criticized the decision, saying that Tiange's aging reactors are unsafe. They're now over 30 years old and cracks have appeared. But Nicolas Damery says folks here aren't concerned. I can only say that new families keep moving here. The ones here are new and the ones over there, too. They're not worried about it. Living in the shadow of a nuclear reactor isn't most people's dream. But in Tiange, they view things pragmatically. Housing prices are cheap here, a big advantage for business-minded Belgians.